Welcome back. We're in Exodus chapter 5, verses 22 and 23. Let's read it. Then Moses returned to the Lord and said, O Lord, why have you brought harm to this people? Why did you ever send me? Ever since I came to Pharaoh to speak in your name, he has done harm to this people, and you have not delivered your people at all. And Moses is sad, and he goes to pray to God. And, and first of all, he accuses God of bringing harm onto his people. But then he asks God, why did you send me? And lastly, he complains that God hasn't delivered his people yet. What's taking you so long? And so it's a litany of griping and complaints and moaning. It's a litany of unbelief. There's nothing hopeful in this prayer. It's just a whiny, accusatory, petulant prayer. And you know what the fact is? The Hebrews expected to get their deliverance without any serious effort on their own part. They were just expecting to sit back in the easy chair and, and be carried across the line into the promised land. But that's not how God's going to do it. And you know, one of the first lessons of faith is perseverance. Now, there are no shortcuts to faith. And, and nothing would be achieved if God just swooped in on day one and just, just uh, gave them straight off deliverance across the line. What would, what would have been gained in that? What would the people have learned? So the people are going to learn that God is faithful, that they can trust him, and he's going to humble Pharaoh. But the raw truth is here, and I'm sorry to say it, but the raw truth is here that these people are not ready to be delivered. And in this crisis now that erupts, God is going to lead them to a sufficient readiness for that deliverance. So God is pretty gracious towards Moses' uh, complaints, and we're going to see his, his response tomorrow. But for now, I'm just going to point out that God is going to ignore a lot of gaps, a lot of misunderstanding, a lot of moaning out of Moses' thinking here. God's going to kind of very graciously ignore these, these silly things that Moses is saying in this time. You know, Moses is wrought up. He's, he's, he's not Mr. Logic here right now. And I really appreciate that many times God does not charge our faults to us. Many, how many times does he just graciously overlook our lapses in faith, our, our little gaps, our valleys of depression. Uh, many times God just overlooks those things and helps us keep moving in the right line, in the right direction. And he does this all while working on, working his angle to increase our faith. So stay tuned. Let's, let's watch how he does it.